Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a roasted beef tenderloin with an irresistible mushroom sauce. Hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and this beef tenderloin is so juicy, melt in your mouth tender and it's easier than you think. Plus that mushroom sauce makes this absolutely holiday worthy and I'm hungry, so let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need a two pound beef tenderloin that has been resting at room temperature for one to two hours. I have a whole beef tenderloin here that I've cut in half to get my two pound piece. A whole tenderloin does have a pretty uneven shape. So if you get the tail end, you'll need to tuck that flap underneath, then tie it for more even roasting. The other end is usually thicker and may need a little more cooking time. Either end will work in this recipe. And here's a great tip. If you want the most even cooking, ask your butcher for the center cut tenderloin. So before you start, make sure to thoroughly pat dry with a paper towel. Now use some kitchen string to tie your tenderloin into an even shape. I'll show you a couple of simple tying methods. You can either tie a knot, then loop it around your hand, loop it around the roast, and continue looping it around your hand and the roast until you get to the end. You want those loops to be about every inch of the tenderloin. Also, keep those loops nice and tight so you can form an even and smooth cylinder shape. Once you reach the end, tie a knot and cut off any excess string. Another method of tying, and one that's probably slightly easier, is to lay out your strings about an inch apart for your roast. Place your roast over the strings and tie them tightly. Now that our roast is prepped and ready to go, we're gonna make our garlic and herb rub. You'll love how simple this is, but the flavors are perfect for beef tenderloin. You'll need to strip one tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves from their stems. We're gonna use half a tablespoon for the roast and half a tablespoon later for the mushroom sauce. Finally, chop the thyme and place half a tablespoon in a small bowl. Also, finely mince your garlic. You'll need two garlic cloves for the sauce and two garlic cloves for the roast. Don't forget to preheat your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit with the rack in the center of the oven. Add the two minced garlic cloves to the same bowl as the thyme. Also add one and a half teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. Stir that together to create a flavorful rub for your roast. Transfer your tied tenderloin to either a cast iron skillet or any oven safe skillet. You can also use a roasting pan. Now rub that garlic and thyme seasoning all over your tenderloin. You'll love this rub. It gives the tenderloin amazing flavor and it's really simple to make. Once the tenderloin is evenly seasoned, you're gonna drizzle on about two tablespoons of olive oil. After the olive oil is on, I like to turn the roast in the pan to make sure all sides are evenly coated in oil. Now the key to getting a perfectly cooked roast is to use an oven safe thermometer and I will link to the one we use and love in the notes. Insert that into the thickest portion of the roast. Then we're gonna put it into the center of a preheated oven and bake at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. The baking time will depend on the thickness of your roast and your desired doneness. I like to bake for about 28 to 30 minutes for medium doneness, and that'll get it to an internal temperature of about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll wanna remove the roast from the oven about five to 10 degrees before it gets to your desired doneness, since the temperature will continue to rise once it comes out of the oven. While the roast is in the oven, we're gonna move on to the mushroom sauce. Start by thickly slicing two pounds of baby Bella or brown mushrooms. Also, finely chop half a cup of yellow onion. Onion adds great flavor, and if you finely chop it, it will disappear into the sauce. Our temperature alert just went off for the roast, so we're gonna pull that out of the oven. Now transfer the roast to a cutting board and tent loosely with foil. You'll want that to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before slicing it. You can keep that temperature probe in there and you'll see it continues to rise about five to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, even after it's taken out of the oven. Now we're gonna start cooking the mushroom sauce. 
place a large, heavy skillet over medium-high heat and add two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of oil. Now add the chopped onion and your thickly sliced mushrooms and saute those together, stirring occasionally for about five to seven minutes. You'll want the onions to soften and the mushrooms should be lightly browned. Initially, the mushrooms will look juicy and release a lot of liquid. Let that evaporate and then you'll see the mushrooms start to turn golden. Now add two minced garlic cloves, your half a tablespoon of thyme that we chopped earlier, along with half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Stir those together for another minute until it's fragrant, then transfer the mushroom mixture to a separate bowl. Place that same skillet over medium-high heat and add half a cup of dry red wine. Scrape the bottom of the pan to deglaze it and continue cooking for another couple of minutes or until most of the wine has evaporated. Add one cup of beef broth and continue boiling until that's reduced by half, about five to seven minutes. Once that has reduced to about half a cup of liquid, you're gonna add half a cup of heavy whipping cream and your sauteed mushroom mixture. Stir that together, bring it back to a boil, then reduce the heat and let it simmer for another two to three minutes or until the sauce has thickened. Season the sauce to taste if needed with a little bit of salt and pepper at the end and it's ready to serve. Oh, all right, it is party time. Our sauce is done, our meat has been rested and it is time to slice and serve. Okay, and super important to let that meat rest Otherwise, it'll juice out when you slice it. We've got our carving set. And before you cut it, you do want to remove those strings. So we're going to do that first. Now to slice up the roast, make sure when you slice, it's about a half inch thick. You don't want them to be too thin or they'll cool down quickly. So here we go. Oh yeah, and that is perfectly cooked. That's what I love about this recipe is you can cook it to whatever doneness you like. Most beef tenderloins will have a slimmer part and a thicker part, so you'll have one end that's a little more done than the other, which is great because some people just like more well done. Oh, take a look at this. It is so juicy and tender. I'm telling you, this is like melt in your mouth. Delicious. Take a look inside here. Oh, and you can tell this beef is just so tender and easy to slice. And if you don't have a great carving set, I will link to this one that I'm using in the notes. I've had this one for years and it's great. It's perfect for turkeys, any kind of roast, and of course, beef tenderloin. Okay, once it's all sliced up, we're just gonna transfer that to a platter and serve it with the mushroom sauce. All right, last but not least, we're gonna add the mushroom sauce. And just for a prettier presentation, I do like to fan out the tenderloin slices like so so that they cover more of the plate. It's just pretty. <laughs> totally optional, but we like pretty. I mean, it's a beef tenderloin after all. You gotta make it look nice. <laughs> and this really is such an easy recipe. All right, we're just gonna dress it up now. Oh, and look at these saucy mushrooms. So delicious. All right, wanna make sure to get every bit of that mushroom sauce on there. Hmm, because it's so good. <laughs> and then I do love to garnish this with a little bit of fresh thyme, because this does need a little bit of color. You don't wanna eat the fresh thyme, just saying. <laughs> it's not that great fresh. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's taste test time. I am so hungry. <laughs> and this smells so good. We're gonna serve this up. There we go. Got our little steak knife ready. And of course, pile it high with mushrooms. There's a lot of mushrooms here and you will be so happy that there's a lot of mushroom sauce. Look at that, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I'm giddy and excited. Can you tell? <laughs> All right, here we go. Get a big piece. Wow, it is so tender. It just cuts through like butter. Like butter. There we go, a little bit of mushroom, a little bit of steak. Look at that. 
You can see that mushroom sauce is just going right into that steak. Yummy yum. <laughs> All my steak dreams are coming true right now. Mm. 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 <laughs> this has amazing flavor. You can really taste that little hint of wine in the mushroom sauce. And I love that there's a creamy sauce over this. It's almost like a gravy, except the best tasting gravy. <laughs> this is so good. And make sure you serve this with something like creamy mashed potatoes. And we have a really good video recipe. I will link to that. And then any simple veggie side dish, because this is definitely the star of the show. It is so delicious. And it's sure to get rave reviews. Hope this becomes a new favorite and we'll see you in our next video.